So if you can't solve this problem without the aid of a calculator, well, you need to review powers and exponents. Let's take a look at the question. We have 4 to the third power times 4 to the negative fifth power, all this divided by 4 to the seventh power. Okay, so once again, no calculators, but if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to walk through exactly how to solve this in just one second. But first, let me quickly tell you who I am. My name is John, and I have been teaching math for decades. And if you need help in math, make sure to check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description below. All right, so there's not one way to solve this problem. So what we have is a product of powers in the numerator of this fraction. And then, of course, we have a power down here in the denominator. Now, when you're faced with a problem like this in math, you're not done until you have your answer uh, written without a negative exponent. So that is a pretty standard convention in math. You don't want to leave your answer with a negative exponent. So for example, if your answer is something like this, well, you are not done. So you need to continue to simplify until you do not have a negative exponent. But let's just talk uh, generally about how we can approach this problem. Okay, so one thing we can do is multiply these powers right here and then get this to one power and then divide this uh, numerator by this denominator. So that is one option. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in just one second, but uh, let's take a look at another way we can approach this problem. So another thing that we can do is take this power in the denominator and uh, move it up into the numerator. So now we have the product of three powers. Of course, I'm gonna show you how to do that in just one second. And then lastly, what you could do is move these two powers down into the denominator and then multiply this product down in the denominator. So uh, each one of these ways is a good uh, path, but basically we're gonna be using the same uh, rules and concepts of powers and exponents. So let's take a look at this first way. All right, so what we can do here is multiply these two powers in the numerator and get this numerator nice and simple and then divide this answer by the denominator down here. Now, I'm gonna be talking about different concepts about powers and exponents, but uh, the first thing that we need to make sure that you understand is the parts of a power and an exponent. But basically, when you hear this term powers and exponents, we're really talking about two parts to a power. So let's take a look at something like this, four to the second power. Now this two up here is the exponent part to the power and the four is called the base. The entire thing is a power. Now four to the second power uh, means take four and multiply it by itself this many times. So this is gonna be four times four. Okay, so just wanna get some uh, nomenclature down here because if you don't understand these terms and uh, this uh, kind of math vocabulary, you won't really be able to understand what's going on. So here we're trying to multiply two powers with the same base, and you are allowed to do that in math. Now the rule is the following, a to the m times a to the n is equal to a to the m plus n. Now this is just a fancy algebra way to express multiplying powers with the same base. But essentially, if your powers have the same base and you are multiplying two powers, all you need to do is add the exponents. So for example, if you had two squared times two to the fourth power, well, the answer here is going to be two to the uh, two plus four or six. And of course this makes sense because two squared is what? That's two times two. And two to the fourth is two times two times two times two. So here we have six two. So this rule checks out. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply this uh, uh, property of uh, powers and exponents to the numerator. All right, so here we have four cubed times four to the negative fifth power. So because uh, the bases are the same and we're multiplying, all we have to do is add the exponents. All right, so this is gonna be four to the three plus negative five. Now, of course, uh, hopefully you know a thing or two about positive and negative numbers, but three plus negative five is negative two. Okay, so our numerator here now is four to the negative two power, and our denominator is still four to the seventh power. All right, so now let's talk about division of powers. 
So uh, the rule basically works similarly uh, as the product rule, and that is a to the m divided by a to the n. If you are dividing uh, two powers with the same base, the rule is you're going to subtract the exponents. You're going to start with the numerator exponent first. So that's going to be a to the m minus n. Okay, so this is the rule when you are dividing uh, powers with the same base. Let's take a look at a simple example. So 2 to the 6 divided by 2 squared. Now, uh, the answer here is going to be 2 to the 6 minus 2, or 2 to the 4th power. And this makes sense because 2 to the 6th power is what? Well, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2's divided by 2 squared, which is 2 times 2. And you can see here we can cross-cancel these 2's uh, with these 2's up in the numerator, leaving us with 4 2's in the denominator, or 2 to the 4th power. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply this rule to get our final answer. And again, you have to be careful with these positive and negative values. All right, so here we have 4 to the negative 2 power being divided by 4 to the 7th power. So we're going to end up with 4 to the negative 2 minus 7. All right, so you've got to be really careful here. So 4 to the uh, negative 2 minus 7 is, of course, 4 to the negative 9th power. Okay, so we are almost done, but again, you uh, are not really done uh, until you get rid of all your negative exponents. So now we're going to use another rule. All right, so here again, uh, we've already talked about the product of two powers, how to divide two powers, and now lastly, I'm going to talk about how you deal with negative exponents. Real quick, if you want my best math instruction, you definitely got to check out my full courses. Again, you can find links to these in the description of this video, but they span basic math to advanced math and everything in between. Okay, so let's keep going with this problem, and don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's talk about how to deal with negative exponents. So here we uh, divided these two powers, 4 to the negative 2, divided by 4 to the 7th is equal to 4 to the negative 9th power, right? So this is going to be negative 2 minus 7, which, of course, is 4 to the negative 9th power. But now we need another rule to finally get rid of this negative exponent. So that rule looks like this. It's uh, a to the negative n is equal to 1 over a to the n. So if you have a negative exponent, you can write this uh, power with the negative exponent as a positive exponent, but you got to basically put it over 1. So that's going to be equal to 1 over a to the n. Now, I'm going to explain uh, kind of an easier interpretation of this rule in just one second, but uh, let's go ahead and apply it to this uh, answer right here, or this uh, part of the problem, 4 to the negative 9th. So all we need to do is get rid of this negative uh, 9 exponent, and we, uh, we will be done. Okay, so 4 to the negative 9th is going to be equal to what? Well, here we have a uh, power uh, with a negative exponent. So if we just follow the pattern and write 1 in the numerator and take this power and write it down in the denominator, but instead of a negative exponent, we're going to make it positive. So we're going to take this thing and write it, uh, write it in the denominator. So that's going to be 4 to a positive 9. Okay, so the final answer here is 1 over 4 to the ninth power. All right, so this is one way to get the right answer. And if you did get this right, I definitely have to give you a nice little happy face and an A+. Plus. That is fantastic. Okay, so there is uh, different approaches here to get the same answer. So this is one kind of path you could take. But uh, let's take a look at these other two paths that are equally as good. Okay, so another way we can do this problem is take this power and move it up into the numerator and then multiply all three of these powers. So the way we do this is essentially use that uh, rule for negative exponents. But this rule right here, a to the negative n, is equal to 1 over a to the n. There is a better interpretation of this rule. Okay, so this is the rule, but I'm going to give you a simpler way to think about using this uh, property of powers and exponents to solve problems like this. Okay, so effectively what this rule is stating is that if you take a power in a fraction, okay, so like right here we have a numerator and a denominator, but let's just uh, take this power right here. 
If we move this power to the opposite side of the fraction bar, so for example, 4 to the negative fifth is up in the numerator, if I put it down in the denominator, what happens is the sign of the exponent becomes opposite. So instead of 4 to the negative 5, that uh, becomes 4 to the fifth down in the denominator. So I can move this entire power, if I uh, want to, down to the denominator. All I have to do is change the sign of the exponent. So here, for example, 4 to the third power, I can move this whole thing down to the denominator, and that would be 4 to the negative 3 power. Likewise, I can take this 4 to the 7th and move it up into the numerator. This is going to become 4 to the negative 7th up into the numerator. So you can uh, move powers and exponents to either side of the fraction bar. All you have to do is change the sign. Okay, so this is going to be really useful here because here I have two uh, powers up in the numerator, but if I want to move this up into this 4 to the 7th up into the numerator uh, so I can multiply all three powers, well, I can, and that is going to be 4 to the negative 7th power. Okay, so now this is the problem. All right, so we have 4 to the negative 7th times 4 cubed times 4 to the negative 5th power. So the rule here is the same. If we're multiplying uh, uh, three powers with the same basis, all we have to do is add the exponents. So here we have negative 7 plus 3. That's going to give us a negative 4 plus a negative 5. This uh, entire thing is going to be 4 to the negative 9th power. Okay, so we saw earlier that 4 to the negative 9th, we're not done because we have a negative exponent. So we can write this as uh, 1 over 4 to the positive 9th power. Okay, so this is another approach you can take. And now let's take a look at this last approach. So the last thing that we can do here to solve this problem is take our powers up in the numerator and bring them down to the denominator. So now that we know something about how to uh, divide and multiply powers and exponents and how to deal with positive and negative uh, exponents, we can move these powers down to the denominator if we like, and this is going to make our life a lot easier. So let's go ahead and do this now. So here we have 4 to the third power. If I move this power down to the denominator, this is going to be 4 to the negative 3 power. So again, what you're going to do is take the power and write the opposite sign of the exponent to the opposite side of the fraction bar. Okay, so 4 to the third power in the nu uh, numerator, excuse me, is equivalent to 4 to the negative 3 power down in the denominator. So now we have 4 to the negative 5 up in the numerator. So down in the denominator, uh, this uh, power, its equivalent power is going to be 4 to a positive 5. Again, we're going to write the opposite sign. Okay, so now we have this big product right here, 4 to the negative 3 times 4 to the 7th times 4 to the 5th. So negative 3 uh, plus 7, again, we're multiplying powers with the same base. All we have to do is add the exponents. So negative 3 plus 7 is 4. 4 plus 5, of course, is 9. So our final answer will be 4 to the 9th here in the denominator. And then up here in the numerator, there is a 1. Okay, so once again, our final uh, answer is 1 to the 4, uh, 1 over uh, 4 to the 9th power. Okay, so if you understand this, well, you actually know a thing or two about powers and exponents. This is really important in all levels of mathematics. But uh, if you need additional help with powers and exponents, I have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel that can help you out. Again, make sure to check out my full main math courses. And what we're talking about here is stuff that you uh, typically learn in like pre-algebra and algebra one. You'll see uh, those course links in the description. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.